एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल गाइज एंड येस आई विल बी वॉचिंग अनादर वीडियो फ्रॉम दिस अमेजिंग अमेजिंग बी टी एस कॉमेंट्री चैनल बोरा सिटी मैगजीन दिस इज लिटरली माई फेवरेट चैनल राइट नाउ दिस इज लिटरली माई फेवरेट चैनल राइट नाउ बिकॉज इट जस्ट it just gives me a very different perspective and i feel that there is a good amount of research that goes um into these videos and it's very well put together very well narrated and yeah it's it's facts based i like that it is kind of fact facts based and it's obviously opinion based also but it's it's a combination it's a good combination of both so this is the video which is very interesting and i uh, could have watched it on my own but i wanted to know your thoughts also that's why i'm making a reaction so this is bts paved the way and why is it so hard to accept it yeah well i know it's very difficult for others to accept that i have seen it uh and uh, for me do i care i don't really as an army do i care that others can't accept it i used to but now i don't because i feel that bts did not come into the industry and started making music with the thought of paving the way for something they just came in did their job and they're still doing their job this is the narrative that others have put into them and uh you know they understand the weight of it but i don't think uh this is what drives them that we have to pave the way or anything so as an army see i k pop stan culture is extremely toxic uh and uh, i'm a very you know that uh, clip of ptd where uh, you know that was when namjoon was saying uh, he was responding to something and he was saying in uh, lines of like you know if you if you if you don't like it why give a shit why give a shit and uh, you know rather use that time to uh, you know talk to your friends spend time with your friends and all of that and i would do that because i'm a grown up and that is exactly what i resonate with uh, that is the clip that i go back to so many times and i feel that's exactly how people should be exactly how uh, armies should be where you shouldn't give a crap about others what others think uh i understand why armies are protective of bts because they have they go through a lot of crap and uh, you know i understand all of that but i feel that uh, my energy is uh, much more utilized in a better and a healthy way if i'm streaming their songs listening to their songs buying their albums showing my support that way if you can't buy the album stream their songs watch their content and be happy i think that is a more productive way to utilize my time uh and yeah with that note i want to start this video i want to see this i want to i want to know what the thoughts are very very interested to know what this is like a 23 minute video 23 and a half minute video so there's a lot that she has said in this and i want to know that and i want to know your thoughts also uh and let's have a conversation so yeah let us begin BTS paved the way for K-pop. It is a fact but also a controversial thing to say. So how is it that there is so much disagreement? First of all, I think we all need to make sure we're talking about the same thing first. Paving the way simply means making it easier for something to happen or someone to do something. Paving the way doesn't mean inventing something. You are not building the road from scratch. You're just paving a road which is very hard to walk through, making it easier for others to walk behind you. So when we say BTS paved the way, we don't mean that BTS invented K-pop or entered the global music market first. We just mean that BTS made it easier for K-pop acts to enter the global music market. K-pop was a growing interest before BTS, but it was still a very niche thing. Now, however, K-pop is part of conversations about pop culture because BTS are mainstream. Right. It was only after BTS entered the Billboard charts when Billboard created charts only for K-pop. It was only after BTS started winning western award shows when western award shows created k-pop categories right. it was only after bts These won the facts. first american award facts. for top social artists when k-pop acts opened twitter accounts because bts were nominated for their twitter engagement Correct. it was only after bts debuted in american television when k-pop acts started being invited to american television it was only after bts started getting grammy nominations when k-pop acts started submitting their songs to the grammys it was only after bts's fandom request i mean it's very difficult see when you are presenting facts this is what i want that's what i want armies to go in that direction is that when you're defending bts if you are part of that stan culture like i want you to i want you guys to do it with facts and that's just not for armies i feel this for every k-pop fandom rather than 
you know just to bring your faves up you tear the other one down with the, with baseless stuff i mean rather that that you present facts that will be more you know that then that'll help build a healthy conversation requested to have their albums on stores like Target when K-pop started selling their albums in stores like Target. It was only after BTS became the biggest group in the world when K-pop groups had the opportunity to sign with American labels. BTS paved the way because without them, K-pop would have remained a niche interest and wouldn't have the global platform they have today thanks to BTS. So what are the arguments against the phrase BTS paved the way? First is that the second generation paved the way. For more context, we need to understand that K-pop has different generations. Yes, the first know. generation came around the 1990s and is composed of artists like So Teji, who basically invented K-pop by introducing American music styles and music equipment to South Korea. Mm -hmm. And entertainment agencies were inspired by the Japanese idol industry to create the K-pop idol training system, in which singers train for years to debut in a group. The second generation started around the early 2000s and it was when K-pop became known as a niche interest in countries outside of South Korea. The third generation is K-pop slowly entering the global music market. BTS is part of this generation. The fourth generation starts in 2017, after BTS became the most popular group in the world. So the argument is that without the first and second generation of K-pop, BTS wouldn't even exist and be as popular as they are today. However, absolutely no one is denying that these big first and second generation K-pop acts helped BTS become a group because the members were part of the idol training system Got and it. without it, they wouldn't even have met. But it was not because of the K-pop system that BTS became global artists. If this was yeah, the case... Because it is because they did, no, they did, they did everything different and they everything you know they did everything which was not part of the norm in the k-pop system uh, that is why they actually were able to break into the global market the way they did because they targeted that specifically other bigger groups at the time with way more resources should have become global instead of them. Exactly. BTS became global artists because they and their almost bankrupt label were rejected opportunities in the K-pop industry and they were forced to find their own out of the norm creative ways to promote themselves. Yes. The first and second generation helped BTS exist as a group but mm -hmm. they didn't pave the way because they didn't make it easier for BTS or anyone else in K-pop to enter the western music market. Correct. They actually made it more difficult. This is why all the previous K-pop groups who attempted to enter the Western music market failed, and after their failures, no other K-pop group tried to enter too, including BTS. BTS accidentally entered the Western music market because their music and personalities became popular on Twitter and YouTube, a way of promotion that K-pop acts didn't seriously consider before. Yep. This should be enough proof that the second generation of K-pop didn't pave the way. They actually destroyed the way because no one dared to walk through that road again. Now thanks to BTS, the way way is paved and K-pop groups have multiple opportunities to promote in the US. It's like the norm. The second argument against is that Psy paved the way because Gangnam Style was a global hit, so he made K-pop be known globally. However, that is not paving the way. Gangnam Style was huge, but his musical career didn't see much growth in the Western and global music industry. He was invited to American award shows, morning shows, late night shows, and he even had collaborations with Western artists. So he was the first in doing many things, but he didn't make it easier for other K-pop acts to debut in America. The general public new Gangnam Style, but many didn't even know his name or the country he was from. Sai said, there were even people who thought my name was Gangnam Style. Mm. Some people overseas would say, hi Gangnam Style. Some <laughs> did get to know about K-pop because of him, but since his future singles decreased in popularity amongst the general public, But you know what, I was, when Gangnam Style happened, and I agree to this, because when Gangnam Style happened, we were all dancing to Gangnam Style, like it was a global phenomenon. But after that, uh, gentleman happened and gentleman did okay because uh, because Gangnam Style was huge uh, a huge hit so when he released Gentleman I remember you know watching Gentleman also but then I forgot about it after that I never really went on and searched for okay what are the other kind of music that this industry offers so yeah
without being invited to all of these shows. He was considered a one-hit wonder and a funny phenomenon that will disappear after some time. And that was what happened. Correct. And I know that racism and xenophobia played a big role in his downfall, so I don't think we should blame him at all. It's not that Sai didn't want to pave the way for others, it's that Sai couldn't pave the way. But K-pop fans can be mad about his situation while also not inventing a story of success and paving the way, discrediting BTS, the actual ones who paved the way. Especially when BTS in 2017 also faced similar hardships and were also considered a weird phenomenon that will disappear after some time. <laughs> The difference is that they kept growing because they were actually gaining fans and these fans It's so hurtful to even listen to like the way the reporters are you know saying pathetic man help BTS win awards, perform on TV, sell their albums in American stores, and sell out stadiums. This made K-pop be known by the general public right. and actually be part of the American music industry, not just a funny guest. So Psy is the closer BTS can get of a Korean senior, but he didn't really experience BTS's level of popularity as artists, and he doesn't really know what it's like to help your country's music industry be part of pop culture conversations. I love BTS this line. had to and did figure out by themselves how to stay in the worldwide music industry and that's how they paved the way for others they made the way easier to walk through and that's they what and i feel armies also played a huge part of it you know in demanding albums to be there on target and stuff so this is what i want like exactly what armies have been doing this for bts and this is what i want them to do for bts going forward this is what i want us to you know known for as a fandom where we are pushing our artists our favorite artists to do like to to be relevant you know this is the way they have become global artists and all yes their music and everything but armies also played a huge part in doing that they played a huge part like you know demanding radio plays and all of that that is all bts never did that the bts didn't call or oh, play my song in the radio no armies did it Army should be very proud of themselves. You know, the armies in the United States, they should be very proud of themselves that, yeah, they demanded that radio play. No, they demanded the album. No, we need the physical copy of the album. So, so this is, so when you're putting the energy in these kind of things, that is when your artist is going to, you know, rise up because the music is great. The artists are amazing. And then you have a fandom who is just, you know, having your back. That's when you are growing exponentially. Fighting on Twitter is not going to achieve anything. That's for sure. And give advice on how to do it, since it's a road they paved by themselves. The third argument against is that BTS okay. only paved the way for the American music argument. market and that we shouldn't prioritize their American achievements when other countries exist. Okay. I think this argument comes from people with little knowledge in the music industry. Whether we like it or not, the American music industry is the yeah. biggest music market in the world. Correct. Its value is more than two times bigger than Japan's, the second biggest music market. And not only that, but unlike other countries, America <laughs> Creates <laughs> the Indian market is not in the first 10 also. Jabki, look at our population and look at the amount of in number of industries we have. It's kind of sad to see, huh? like, it's personally hurting me. Okay, no problem, no problem chain reaction. The biggest artists in the United States have high chances to also be big in other countries, mm. including Japan and the other big markets. Mm. But the biggest artists in Japan are big in Japan only. Of course, there are a few exceptions, but even those exceptions don't change the fact that you won't listen to the biggest artists from Japan, Germany, and France in the US, in Latin America, or in every Asian country. The mm. only music market that can do this is the one of the United States. Yes. This is why Billboard has two global charts. Exactly. A global chart which includes the US and other global chart which excludes the US right. because the United States carries the global music industry numbers. The funny thing is that BTS charts well in both the global charts including the US and the global charts excluding the US. This is why BTS paved the way not only for the American music market but also for the global music market. BTS is huge in all of these countries See, these not facts. just South Korea you and the United States. They are the biggest artists, not group artists, in Japan's 
Spotify. They sold out Wembley Stadium twice in the UK. They are the only Korean act to have number one albums in Germany. They are the only Korean group to sell out Stade de France. And this also happens in other countries with smaller music markets. It was only after BTS performed in Saudi Arabia when K-pop groups decided to also perform in ah, Saudi Arabia. Oh, BTS paved the way for K-pop to have some visibility in every country of the world. Thanks to them, K-pop has grown everywhere. And there are now India we are Joe. <laughs> At least after one group comes in, like one big group comes in, then <laughs> other groups will follow. K-pop festivals around the world and K-pop albums are more easily distributed everywhere. We're truly honored to be on this stage with such amazing, group tremendous their own artists okay. right over here. Another argument against See, these are the arguments group... I did not know happened. I know the second generation argument is there, but these are the arguments that I'm not aware of has paved their own way. And what people say about because this I don't is that K-pop idols worked very hard on passing all the auditions they had as part of the idol training system, and they practiced a lot to strengthen their talents and get their achievements. Again, that is not paving the way. Paving the way is making it easier for others to do something. So if I say XYZ group paved their own way, I'm saying XYZ group made it easier for themselves to be known in the global yeah. music industry. <laughs> and this is just not true, because the road is already paved. So how do they make it easier for themselves? and others. I could argue the complete opposite. I could say that BTS were the only ones who paved their own way, and this has to do with BTS's musical influences and hardships. If you really want to attribute BTS's path to someone else, attribute it to the artists that actually inspired their music, art, and movement, which is Black music, music, genres like hip hop and R&B, dance styles Absolutely. like breakdance, legendary rappers and singers who take pride in writing their own songs, who like talking about their personal struggles and experiences. This is not to say that K-pop hasn't also been inspired by black it has, music. No? K-pop may sound and look like black music, but the purpose of the genres got lost. With some exceptions, of course, K-pop groups are not inspired by these genres anymore. Mm. They don't pay for the samples they use and they don't recognize the musicians who are actually composing their music. They just want the aesthetic. This is why there are many K-pop rappers wanting to look like Rihanna, but not even knowing what genre she does. On the ah. other hand, BTS have been actual fans of hip-hop artists yes. since they were kids, and they were actually inspired by them. This is why they've always paid homage to their influences by mentioning their idols in songs, yeah. paying for the samples they use, and crediting them, showing their pictures in concerts, and even making documentaries featuring them and their voices. All of this while also prioritizing their own message, lyricism, and creative ways. BTS took the basics of these genres to express their own voices and create their own unique path I to the music industry. I want to know your industry. thoughts on this. Like, if you have a counter-argument, I would love to know that. I would love to know that. Like, if I also feel there is a counter-argument here, I would say it. This is how you pave your own way. BTS didn't have the platform, but they had the talent, determination, creativity, and real love for music. For a K-pop group to pave their own way, they would have to walk through a path they paved by themselves. And True. that's not what they're doing. They only take the opportunities that BTS I gave I mean, so them. far I'm agreeing to all of it. What does that Finally, even mean? the last argument against the idea mean? that BTS paved the way is that they actually opened the door and closed it, or that they paved the way for themselves and then closed the road for Acha, everyone else. Okay. They say this is because BTS's popularity is so big that no matter how hard others try, K-pop acts will always be in the shadows of BTS. I and think... I believe that can be true. Yeah, I was gonna say that that's actually... I could, I could agree to that argument in a way. I don't know what she's going to say next, but what I want to say is that because... It's kind of unfair to BTS in a way because I don't think they are closing the door. It's the thing that the hype around them now is so much that everything gets compared. You know, whenever I see uh, finding the, uh, oh, we are going to find the next BTS. Who is going to, oh, BTS are going on hiatus. Like the, when they announced the military thing, when they announced, you know, in the festa, the hiatus thing. Who is going to be the next BTS? Like the media is doing all this. Who is going to be the next BTS? Finding the next BTS. Are they going to reach the level of BTS? Why are you comparing everybody else's hard work as, you know, comparing it with BTS? But the thing is, they are so huge and they are such a global phenomenon that everything is going to, compare, going to be compared by them. And it's not their fault. 
to be very honest it's actually not bts's fault but this is what the media see media needs masala media needs something to you know when when media will pit two entities against each other you know they know how fans are going to react see this is how they play with your brain and that is why i am i chill i don't get into all of this crap uh so when you are pitting one group against the other you know that and media knows that the k pop fans are extremely extremely like emotional like they love their group they love their faves so when you are pitting two groups against each other you know that like media is not an idiot they know there's going to be a war they know that they are going to get clicks they're going to get likes they're going to get engagement it's all about numbers nowadays they're going to get engagement and they are winning the media is winning here okay who are losing the fandoms are losing because they are uh, getting into the fights uh, unnecessary fights which is actually been manufactured by the media second this is an utter disrespect to both the groups when you start comparing them like this because everybody uh, everybody comes from a different kind of mindset okay if bts has their own hardships their own training stuff their own path the other group has their own struggles so yeah and when you, when when a group is getting compared to bts it kind of shuts the door for them i so i feel that in that way it is true because it does kind of shuts shut the door for them because they'll be, they'll also be like why am i getting compared to this group again and again what about my own struggle what about my own hard work why are why is the media not talking about my own hard work why only this group why everything gets compared so that creates another level of frustration okay and but i wouldn't say that bts closed it i would say that this narrative has been is getting developed by the media and that is why one of the reasons why probably bts gets a lot of hate but only when you treat the road as a way to instant BTS level of success. The road BTS paved is not a road to be BTS. It's a road to have visibility in the global music market. Correct. But you still need to work hard to create your own artistic identity. Mm. The road is paved, but you still need to run. Correct. In other words, K-pop now has visibility in the Western music industry because K-pop groups now get invited to American TV and award shows. They now have American tours and albums on Target shelves, mm. but they still need to make themselves different from from BTS because the best at being BTS yeah. are BTS and no matter how hard okay. K-pop tries they won't beat them this is why the K-pop groups at ah, times this being, is what I was talking about how hard K-pop tries they won't beat them this is why next BTS the next BTS yeah the next BTS no this is this is dumb you can't do that you are not only disrespecting BTS by this you are actually bringing down your own group why the K-pop group's attempts of being recognized as the next BTS try so hard to have the exact same achievements BTS had. They want to get the exact same records. And again, that is treating the road as a way to BTS's level of popularity, not as an opportunity. She also did, a, she also did a video of the next BTS. I don't know if you want me to react to that or not. Otherwise, I'll watch it on my own. But I wanted to watch this, like make a reaction on this because I want to know your thoughts also, Armies visibility in the global music market but there are some who do understand what this new road bts gave them is about they paved the way you have to admit they paved the way <laughs> the majority of k-pop ads that? don't I, really I, say I, anything I, at all about bts popularity and the opportunities they gave them it should be obvious but they act like bts doesn't exist who, who, or like they who, the majority of k-pop ads oh, okay. don't really say anything at all about bts popularity okay. and the opportunities they gave them it okay. should be obvious but they act like bts BTS doesn't exist or like they are just another K-pop group. This has something to do with their labels controlling them and their image. Mm. However, there are some who do admit that BTS paved the way for them and the ones who say it simply take the opportunity that BTS gave them, say thank you and move on with their careers. Exactly. They know that competing against BTS is useless so they do their best to use the global platform BTS gave them to showcase their talents. Starting with the founder of K-pop, So Taeji. 25 years had to pass for So Taeji to recognize another social conscious Korean artist he could pass the torch to and proclaim as his successor. In 2017, So Taeji asked BTS to remake his classic Come Back Home and told them this is your generation oh. now. Another popular group from the first generation is... 
I had no idea. Like I don't know this. I did not know all this. This is new information for me. Xinhua, when talking about Korean entertainment agencies and the difficulty in balancing promotions in Korea and in the U.S., a member from Xinhua said, "물론 이런 모든 고정관념을 깨는 게 저는 BTS라고 봐요. 그래서 이제 저도 생각이 좀 바뀌고 있긴 한데 그래도 BTS한테 조금 이제 원하는 거. 그래도 한국 팬들을 가끔 생각을 해주셔서." Rain, another singer from the first generation, appeared on a show where the interviewer said that the BTS joked on uh, BTS. Interviewers, BTS Rain told them and stop. They became successful because they worked really hard on their own. It has nothing to do with me. Ah. Was promoted in the U.S. thanks to Rain, but he responded, "They became successful because they worked really hard on their own. It has nothing to do with me." Some K-pop fans say that the second generation paved the way, including groups like Wonder Girls. But this was what Sunmi from Wonder Girls said in 2019 in an interview she had for Billboard. A K-pop journalist tried to credit this group for the increased global popularity of K-pop. The interviewer said, "It's partially because of the groundwork laid by you and Wonder Girls." But Sungmi responded, "No, BTS." Yubin, another member from Wonder Girls, also said that since they also promoted in the American this. music industry, she feels more sympathy and pride for BTS because it was really difficult when Wonder Girls tried to enter that industry. After Beast, a second-generation group, was noticed in a foreign country, someone asked if it was because of K-pop, but a A member of the group responded, "No, thanks to BTS." K-pop singer Ailee also said, "We K-pop artists are really proud of them because we know how hard it is to make it in the industry. The fact that they open up these doors and clear the way for us, it's wow. a huge hope for us." Singling out BTS, Sai so said, "BTS achieved Gangnam Style's unfulfilled dreams since they got oh permanence and persistence, as well as six number one songs in the U.S. While Sai's highest peak was number two." Moving on to the third generation, the K-pop group Car. Said that the reason why they are receiving such a pleasant response overseas is because their sunbase or seniors BTS have paved the way really well. One member also said, "There's so many things we can learn from them, so we're looking towards them with respect." I feel that BTS has created a genre of their very own. Members from Astro, SF9, and Seventeen had also said that they have a lot to learn from BTS, referencing how BTS's achievements in the West helped them. The group Bigtan said, "Back then, there was no precedent like this. It was." Something that could only be imagined. BTS went to the Billboard Music Awards and achieved a great result. So we thought, wow, it's something that's actually possible. It seems to have made us work a bit harder. A member from G Idol said, "Since BTS did help and introduce so many people to so many artists, we're influenced by them too. We would like to also strive for a similar path." A member from Monsta X said, "They really paved the way for us and other K-pop acts. They made way for us to participate in the United States music industry." I don't know. If we'd be able to do the things we're doing right now without them, another member said, "BTS paved the way, so I think it's been a little smoother for us." A member from Luna said, "We got a lot of attention only because of our son Benin, BTS, who paved the way for K-pop." BTS, BTS, yes, uh, they, I would say they definitely. Uh, Jackson, my boy, <laughs> can't wait to. <gasps> cannot believe I'm gonna watch him live next month. <sighs> my nerves, yes. I like sometimes I'm I'm thinking about Lola Palooza and I'm like I I sometimes I freak out that I'm gonna watch him live. Yes. The legends they paved the way. You have oh, to admit Chris. they paved the way. <laughs> anyway, mad respect to um. He's such, He's such a good leader. He's such a good leader. Like I think after uh, after Namjoon, I feel if if anyone. Like if any leader that I'm emotionally attached to, it's it's Chris. It's definitely him. 미국 쪽에는 저희가 이렇게 K-pop 인기가 있어질 거라고 생각을 못했어요. 근데 이렇게 이제 방탄소년단 선배님들께서 먼저 이렇게 열어주셔가지고 저희도 조금 더 알릴 수 있는 기회가 되지 않을까 싶어서 되게 감사하고 저희도 더 미국 활동을 해보고 싶다는 생각도 하게 돼. Helena Kosinski, the vice president at Nielsen, an information and data measurement firm, said BTS opened the floodgates for K-pop and that BTS makes K-pop become like a mainstream was, trend on the global market. This. South Korea's culture minister praised BTS. For providing a way forward to K-pop, the vice president and chief operating. 
Marketing Officer of the Korea Creative Content Agency, stated K-pop has skyrocketed since BTS's popularity surged, creating jobs not only for BTS and their team, but other K-pop idols as well. And the then president of South Korea, Moon Jae-in, said that BTS are the pride and future of South Korean culture, and named them as the special presidential envoy for future generations and culture. Also, when talking about innovative strategies to communicate directly with fans, he said BTS paved the way. So there are definitely a lot of K-pop acts who give BTS their credit, but like I said, there are many who don't. These are usually K-pop acts being pushed to be the next BTS, and what they like to do is mention goals like Billboard and Grammys, but only crediting second generation groups as their inspiration, or okay. even saying that they are the ones paving the way for others. We have um, other artists that's been going um, overseas and doing what we're doing, so I guess we, what, we grew up watching them thinking, you know, we, I, we, we wish to be the group that opens up the you know, door for more um, other foreign yeah, artists to, to you mm -hmm. know, yeah, spread their music. But still, the majority mention other groups that inspire their goals and don't address... But you know, Blackpink cannot mention BTS. Like, if they, if, if they ever say, firstly, they won't be allowed to say it. If they ever say it, then there's going to be like, oh my god, I can't even, I don't even want to imagine the amount of chaos that's going to happen in the internet. So I'm pretty sure like they have been instructed like, no, you can't, like don't even mention BTS's name out of your mouth. They can't do that. BTS at all, even when these goals were only achieved by BTS. So why is it so difficult to accept it? I don't really like the they are just jealous response because it can be seen as a lazy response. But in this case, I really believe it all comes down to that one reason, jealousy. In the case of K-pop fans, the majority of the ones who deny that BTS paved the way were fans of the second generation of K-pop, who feel Feel that saying that BTS paved the way for K-pop erases the second generation's achievements. And like I said, as hurtful as it is, BTS gave K-pop opportunities that the first and second generation couldn't. But the jealousy also comes from K-pop groups and labels who have been privileged their entire careers. No matter how much of a mess the group is, the groups on the big three are guaranteed to have a successful career. This is why the biggest groups before BTS were always from the big three. Nowadays, the groups from the big three have the same impact as they had before BTS's global popularity, but they are nothing in the global music market when compared to BTS. And this hurts the big three even more, because BTS and their label used to be nobodies compared to these agencies. Mm. Even until this day, the three biggest K-pop labels have a crazy amount of power in the Korean entertainment industry. They basically run most K-pop platforms, TV networks, and media in general, giving their K-pop groups the advantage of having more screen time, more positive reviews, more news coverage about them. This is why BTS even with all the money they've contributed to their label and South Korea's economy, are still, to this day, being banned, lied about, and sabotaged by the industry. It's not just about money, it's mm. about power. BTS and therefore HYBE have a lot of money, but they don't have the power. They don't have connections with Korean TV networks and media, like these other Korean entertainment agencies do. BTS are the biggest group in the world, but the news cover their achievements the least amount of times they can, because it doesn't benefit them. <laughs> 그러면 우리가 흔히 알고 있는 소위 대형 기획사의 아이돌이 그것보다 사실은 못 미치는 어떤 활약을 보였을 때 미디어에 보도되는 양이나 그 커버되는 I did not know this. I did not know. Of course because I don't follow South Korean entertainment news. So, okay. That's kind of surprising. Actually, it's not surprising. I mean, if you have good connections with the network, then you'll get the most coverage. That's pretty much how it works. It's all PR. Oh, okay. So that's how they put the new... Oh my god. So K-pop labels and sometimes their K-pop oh, groups know. refused to accept that BTS paved the way because they couldn't, even when they had all the power and money from the start to do it. Hmm. They are jealous that seven nobodies from 
from a nobody agency grew bigger than them. So they refused to accept reality. It's the, it's it's added, the best rags to riches story for me, seriously, because it's just so inspiring. You know, whenever I enter this room to record and I see the BTS posters and all, and I and I just look at them. I mean, I'm in awe of them, but when I just look at them, you know, for a moment, and I'm like, guys, I don't know how. I I just feel that the amount of mental strength that you guys had, just give me ten percent of it, and I'll dominate the world. Like I literally look at their poster and I say, just like, please, please tell me how to get that mental strength to take that bullshit and still move forward with so much confidence and zeal. It's amazing. Still from K-pop groups is also reflected in the way it's become harder for BTS to find friendly people in the industry. Then, 이제 그때부터 이제 친구도 없고 이러다 보니까 친구가 없어요. 핸드폰이 기로 이 전화번호 목록을 찾. I've been asked to react to this. I have not yet, uh, but I will. I will. 찾아 보면 연예인 친구 열 명이 진짜 대부분 사람들도 이제 저희 부담스럽다고 보통 친구로도 잘안 놀아주더라고요. And you can show me all the K-pop groups on the Big Three interacting with BTS, but almost none of these compilations feature interactions with BTS after the real global massive success. It used to be fun when BTS were nobodies or just the biggest in K-pop, but now that BTS is the biggest group in the world, K-pop labels envy that, and they don't want their groups to interact or even mention them. This is why BTS's friends from the industry are mostly indie artists who are not trying to compete against BTS. Mm. I really don't like the way it has become controversial to say that BTS paved the way, because if you really think about it, it's not that big of a deal. The phrase doesn't imply that BTS are better than every other K-pop group, and although I actually believe they are the best group ever, you can't think the complete opposite and still be able to agree with me, because the phrase only means that BTS gave opportunities for K-pop to be recognized yeah, globally. Even so I believe learn that, a that little from BTS and pay tribute to the ones who help you be where you are today. And if you don't want to mention them at all. That's I mean, before this video, also like I have always believed that that no, they they have paved the way. They really have. Also fine, just don't be delusional and jealous. <laughs> K-pop fans as well as K-pop labels and groups shouldn't be hurt by the fact that BTS paved the way. It's not an insult to your group. It's a sea full of opportunities to be seen and recognized in the worldwide platform BTS created. This is going to be uh, broadcasted in the cinemas. I hope. Like PBR also does it here in India because I'm gonna go and watch it. I'll drag my husband this time. Woo! Nice video. Nice video. I like. I like. I believe in the fact that they paved the way, and if you want to convince me otherwise, you can bring facts onto the table, and then we can have a discussion. But uh, I kind of agree to most of this, except uh, like. Couple of things I did not know, but that one argument where you know they opened the door and closed the door, I understand. Like I don't blame BTS for that, but I kind of, I kind of understand because the media just loves pitting two groups against one another. So that could close a certain amount of road. That that could you know prove to be a roadblock for you know the groups because then you know nobody likes to get compared because everybody has their own hard work and struggle. But rest of it, I completely agree with uh, that. Whatever argument she gave, because like I said, I like facts, fact-based commentary. I like that. So if I want to know if you agree, disagree, I want to know your thoughts uh, in the comments below. And like she said, it shouldn't be a controversial thing to say. It's yeah, they they paved the way. Now enjoy, you know, make your own niche, be, become a globally popular artist. Now, okay, chill, have fun. Uh, so yes, I love this uh, video very well. Like I told you, this is literally my favorite Army channel right now. Uh, I love watching uh, so many videos from this. And uh, do let me know if you want me to react to the next uh, the next BTS uh, video she made one or any other video. Let me know. You can suggest me in the comments because I have watched a couple of her videos on my own, but there are many that I have not watched, thinking that you might want me to react to them. So yes, that was my reaction. Those were my thoughts on BTS paved the way and why is it so hard to accept it. Uh, and yeah, uh, that's it, guys. I'm gonna sign off from this video now. Hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, this reaction, and I will see you soon now on my next video. Bye.